Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll be taking a look at Linux Lite version 4.0. Now full disclosure ahead that Linux Lite do sponsor me through Patreon, but it has not changed my opinion of their distribution because I've been reviewing it and positive about it for quite a while. But if you don't want to watch my video due to that reason, then I respect your decision. So how much has changed since the previous release? Well, quite a bit actually, it's now a whole fresh new look. Still on the same basic XFCE desktop, which actually hasn't it changed, but the underlying Ubuntu system has changed. It's now based on version 1804, long-term support release for Ubuntu. Well, Zubuntu actually, I suppose. Linux Lite is aimed more at new users, but there's no reason that a more experienced user couldn't use the distribution. It's not overly excessive with a number of pre-installed applications, and the setup is quite nice. It's pretty much pick up and use, and it does come with quite a range of utilities pre-installed, so it has actually quite a useful distribution. The new theme is called Adapter, and the icon set is Papyrus Adapter. The font chosen is Noto. So normally I would start looking with the memory usage, but it's over here. <laughs> it's pretty simple to read. Actually, the basic memory usage well, I have opened up a couple of things, but the basic memory usage is just below 400 meg. Quite nice and lightweight. I could show you the resource usage. So this opens HTOP directly into the terminal. So yeah. Uh, CPU usage, pretty minimal really. And I have allocated this system six CPU cores. So I get confused with which side the close, minimize, maximize buttons are because I'm used to them being on the left hand side. That's why I kind of get a bit confused there. You see me moving around each side of the screen. So I would like to open the terminal, but not necessarily for the reasons you may think, which was normally for looking at memory usage. No, I just wanted to show you the styling here. Quite nice. So I go across to a different folder and it's displayed clearly. How do I get that feature? I need to use that more often. So in terms of the kernel version number, it's Linux kernel 4.15. You do get Mesa 18.0 and the option to install the NVIDIA 390 graphics drivers. I started to show some of the help manual which is pre-installed on the system. It's got some very nice styling and it covers a lot of the features of the operating system. So if you're new to Linux, not really sure what you're doing on the system, puzzled about a certain topic, this is a good place to go. I discovered that feature with the widgets and I happened to be scrolling for a different topic. I think it was under customize. It was the light desktop widget and all you have to do is go into the application auto start and it's given you the directions here, so yeah, you could read through it. And yeah, upon reboot, or more like you could log out and log back in, it shows you out on the desktop and it gives you information of when your system was last updated. So very useful. Well, number of days since your system was last updated and getting progressively more of a warning color. So yellow being a few days out and red being a week or so out. That's so nice and simple for a new user. There is a selection of custom applications included on the system. So if you look under control panel and you'll see them specifically here. So the light and the name of the application. So let's say I want to change the auto login. Well, there's a convenient application included here. So if I want to enable auto login, it is literally as simple as this. Pop in my password. You're about to enable auto login. So yes, I would like to enable it. Light desktop, you can choose different desktop icons. So setting up the network shares, perhaps not the best view of editing Samba. Yeah, editing the config file directly, but it's a basic start, just opening up the correct application. Then if you close it, you've got the option to reload the configuration or restart the service. Yeah, just go to restart the service and that should force Samba to take any new settings. The light software store, uh, so no, I won't update the repositories right now. But if I go to install software, there's a link to this on the welcome screen as well. You don't have to go through the control panel. This is just a basic list of applications that have been included for an easy, simple install. And this is again ideal if you're a new user. You don't necessarily know what, uh, say, torrent client to take. Oh, it's just chosen Deluge for you. Yeah, Deluge is a good torrent client. You don't have to be knowledgeable about the names of all the various open source applications, which there are quite a lot really, and quite a few different alternatives. So yeah, nice feature. And if I go to install, yes, just to install it, show it running. And you can choose multiple applications at once, just hold down control and select them off the list. So installation complete. 
And if I go to remove software, well now it shows two applications that I've installed from that software center. Enabling system sound, whoa, steady now. Let's, uh, let's not get too like Windows. Yeah, it's a very simple point and click just to do all that. Uh, no, let's disable them. The system reporter, and you can generate a report on the hardware and software on your system. This is kept locally on your system, and uh, incidentally, while I'm talking about this subject of data collection here, I will mention that none of the data collection features are actually included on this operating system. I've taken a look for the popularity contest and Ubuntu report tools, and they are both uninstalled, or not installed, I should state. So yeah, if you want to generate this report, you can keep it on your system. Linux Lite do have a hardware database where you can search through various configurations of hardware to see if it works with Linux. Let's take a look for Ryzen. Eight computer configurations with keyword Ryzen. Yeah, it shows you the CPU information and in this case also has a graphics card. And that's up to you to submit that information. You don't have to, and that does look like it has been anonymized. And that's community searchable. At least you know what's happening with it. Anyway, a little bit off topic there, wasn't I? Light Tweaks is a really useful tool to change various little uh, configurations on your system that you may not necessarily think about on a day-to-day -day basis. For instance, like the host name. Yeah, that's not an everyday change to do. You can free up some of the memory, you can free up some of the cache. It's got uh, various useful little tools here. They remove 500 kilobytes worth of log files. Just point and click. Change the state of numlock on boot. I do like the features in Linux Lite, just these tools that are over and above what you would normally get. And maybe you don't need them on a day-to-day -day basis, but the fact that they're there and available and convenient to use is a massive plus, really. Can't praise that feature anymore. There's a user manager and you can change the groups that you're a member of, as well as adding new users and changing your password. So, very convenient point and click tools, very happy with those. I doubt they take up much space, they're all fairly basic. So that's the appearance just to show you the new themes and there is a dark version of the theme. But I quite like that adapter theme, very nice. It's a fresh new look to the system. In terms of the rest of the system, well, it's XFC desktop. It's very fast and responsive. That is really snappy at resizing applications. Is that my imagination or is that snappier than Ubuntu was? Looking at the application naming, it is fairly generic, but some applications do have their title in as well. For example, GIMP, although it's named in full there. Internet, the browser of choice is Firefox, and we also have Thunderbird email pre-installed. Multimedia, well, I installed Handbrake as part of testing. Got VLC for the media player. Office, that is a partial suite of LibreOffice. Although it doesn't specifically name it's LibreOffice here. But if we were to open it up, then yes, it is LibreOffice. And a very new version as well, that's version 6. Under system, we do see some of the more full names of the applications. Oh, and we do have TimeShift backup utility on here. I believe that's the same utility that's installed on Linux Mint. Firefox has had a few configuration changes done to it. The default search engine is Google, but it does go through a custom search of Google which contains a few useful links. For example, I could go straight across to Reddit. And it also has links to the Linux Lite support page, as well as links at the top to the support page as well, and the help manual. So they really have tried to accommodate new users, but as I mentioned, a more experienced user could use this operating system as well. There isn't really much you have to tear out of it, not much in the way of changes you have to make to it. Yeah, I'm really happy. I've thoroughly enjoyed using Linux Lite. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.